All right, here we are at, where are we? Wyella. So this is our beachfront site, which is beachfront. <laughs> the tide's out at the moment, so uh, it looks a bit, a bit sandy. But we're going to go have a walk out onto the into the ocean. It's going to come back in later on, so I can show you that as well. So we're here for um, two nights just to get our vaccinations and to have a bit of a look around. Um, it's supposed to be 45 a night for the ocean view but she's given it to us for 30 she didn't charge us for the kids which is cool so yeah great little spot for two nights there's a few little things to see in town um, the maritime museum which you'll see um, and yeah we've had a good time here heading off to Port Augusta tomorrow which will be there for four nights we've got the discovery booked already discovery parks booked there so Yay, we're going to take you out maybe over into the ocean and see if we can find any crabs. And the amenities here are pretty good. Oh, yeah. Toilet, showers, um, seem reasonably new and clean and whatnot. There's a park, jumping pillow. Um, kids haven't really spent much time there because they're too busy playing in the sand and the rocks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, great little site. Sort of can't get any sort of... Closer than this, sand's just there, beach is there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's great. And the water actually comes up to right there and goes right out. So. Yeah, it's the Discovery Parks, as I didn't say where it was. Yeah, it's a Discovery, Discovery Parks. Discovery Parks, Wyala. In Wyala. And great sunsets, which you'll see as well. So, yeah, got the drone up last night. It yeah, was last night was amazing. Yeah, and uh, maybe you can see it, but you got the pier and that just over here. Uh, that all lights up, the whole pier lights up, so we'll show you guys that one as well. I thought it was amazing. Mm -hmm. So the tide has just gone out like really far. How far do you reckon from shore? There's the shore all the way over there. Uh, probably like five metres or something. Five metres? I, I reckon it's about 200 metres. <laughs> 200. Oh, 200. We literally just walked through all this water. It's about ankle deep at the moment. And we literally there. walked out here probably three minutes ago and it was all sand. Uh, the tide's coming in really quick. It's really shallow through here, obviously 200 metres from shore. It sort of goes all the way out there, probably another 100 metres. The tide turned about an hour, hour and a half ago. Now we're going to go. Just having a yeah. Have a paddle. Okay, go. All right, we've just come to the uh, information center here at Wyala, and it's also got the Maritime Museum here. Oh, get rid of that. It's also got the Maritime Museum here. Uh, we've missed the tour, so you can go on this big ship. Um, but they only do it, you can only go on the ship via a tour at 11.30 and 1.30, so we're here now, so we thought we'd do the Maritime Museum. And tomorrow morning we're booked in to do the 11.30 tour, they've just given us a pass out to come back. So, we'll do that tomorrow morning. Just entering the Wyala Maritime Museum. Have a look through, Let's see what it's all about. Singing for the Sharks, World War II Gallery, female toilet, and then that way we have BHP's shipping gallery, Matthew Flinders room, model railway, North Spencer Golf. Singing for the Sharks, World War II Gallery, and the men's toilet. BHP gallery, Matthew Flinders room, and model railway. Okay. I like the model ships. The model sh ships are always cool. Yeah. Oh. Geez, I must take some work to, to build. Please do not touch. Yeah. Lots of different ships. I'll we'll read about them. Won't bore the other people with them. <laughs> This is part of the museum.
Yeah, yeah, there's 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 there's
<laughs> and, and knife breakers, the whole deal. Yeah, imagine doing this, salt water everywhere. Oh, yeah. Plopping all over the place. Yeah, there's one here, just watch the step, over that is quite high there. <laughs> it's pretty big. The washroom, yeah. It's pretty big. No hot water back in the day? I had hot water back so remember how I said it turned to the SS rip? Yeah. Yeah, they've got some amenities a bit nicer than just coloured water. Cook us some lunch, Claire. We're all going in here? Yes, yep, we're going to the galley there. This is a kitchen. They're pretty big. There were 80 men that needed to use these showers. Three showers on the whole thing? Uh, so yeah, just on this side. <laughs> There were, sorry, there were one, one set of showers on the opposite side there where the toilets were. But they were only for the 16 petty officers. Oh. But they didn't have to share with the rest of the men. So 65 men were pretty much sharing these two showers. Yeah. Yeah. We could start doing that in the caravan, line up down the hallway. This is Bruce. And the radio control room. Some of the quarters, a bed there, table. the top deck with the gun, that gun could shoot five kilometers. This would detonate the mines with it. So this ship was used for mine sweeping. On the lifeboats. And we're heading to the captain's quarters. So during the war this was actually just for the captain. After the war we lost our name for ranking, so we no longer had a captain on board, we had a master. The master and the chief engineer have to share the quarters. So this area here was split into the two, so there's now two bedrooms. They shared the dining room and the ensuite. Before that there was actually an office that he could meet with his officers oh, in sorry. a private space. Mm. This is the dining captain's quarters, or this is the dining room. Oh, so that's the master's yeah. room. No, they should be identical, they should be exactly the same. Master nice coffee chief. bed. That's the chief engineer. So, yeah, master and chief. Master this used to be one whole big bedroom for the captain. But when, when the war ended, yeah. they made it two different. Made it two different bedrooms for the master and the captain. Yeah. Basically identical. They're on shower. Toilet, bathroom. This is the ship's ship's signals. Steering wheel. Map storage and charters. Uh, flags, there's a flag system. Yeah. All the letters. Yeah. Uh, front of the ship. So that was the the HMAS Wyala. It was really awesome. Even the kids really enjoyed it. So if you were around Wyala, 
jump into the visitor center and check it out. All right, we're here in Port Augusta. This, we came through Port Augusta, so we've, uh, this is officially, we've officially completed a loop of Northern Territory WA. So this was almost our starting point as such. Um, our first official stop, we drove through here to get to Cooper Pedy. So yeah, we've completed a full stop. Uh, we've decided to lash out while we're here and we got an ensuite site. So uh, we're just staying at the Port Augusta Discovery Parks. It was an extra three dollars to get an ensuite site. So we're living the high life <laughs> and got an ensuite site. Yep. Which is really nice. Um, Save so using our own bathroom and stuff. Or having a walk to the amenities, which is really good. We've got a cool little playground for the kids. I'm gonna go show them. Uh, little pool. The pool's freezing cold. It was, what, 32 degrees here yesterday. And we went to get in the pool. Kids lasted literally jump in, jump out. Jen jumped in, jumped out. And I didn't even bother because it was freezing cold. So it's a nice uh, 28, 30 degrees here today. So we're going to head down to the beach today. So that's the pool. A nice barbecue area just behind rec room with um, table tennis, pool table, TV, uh, little area. I think. I have to get that done out. Can't remember the prices. Hey. It's okay. Uh, walk down. It doesn't seem very busy. We just booked it online. There's lots of sites. Lots of sites around. Heaps of cabins. What's the, how's the playground like, Ruth? It's really fun. There's lots of beds too. Unlike the ones that we've been to um, in the past two weeks, it's a lot better than just a slide. Better than just a slide? Yeah. We've got two slides and monkey bars. Yeah. I call it at the best part. I call this part a really good part. I mostly love monkey bars at parks because I love doing the monkey bars. Alright, so this is the kids park. So, lots of stuff for the kids to do. They spent about two, two hours here yesterday, Arvo. We are making dinner. Should I and open the door because I want to go to the park. Relaxing. Yes, going to open the door. Just going to go have a play. And get yourself out. Uh, nice little camp kitchen. You stay in here, Rubes? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, come back together. A uh, nice camp kitchen here as well, nice barbecues, utensils, little fridges, ovens, all your stuff, camp kitchen, good stuff. So, yeah, we've done a little bit of research um, for here. Uh, there's not a great deal to do here, a bit of beaches, there's a little bit of a fair going on down there. We're going to go check out the fair. And, yeah. Go check out the info centre and see what it has to offer. We've been here for four days because we have been um, waiting to get the car serviced. And today is Monday, so the car is getting serviced. We were here on Friday and we've got a loan car this time instead of sitting around like we did in Perth, waiting for them to call us. So we've got the loan car and check it out because Ruby's like, it's like driving on the floor, but cool, it's a cool little Mazda. They're like, Terrified because they didn't have any doors, but fancy little <laughs> wing doors in our little Mazda. Are you having fun in there, girls? Yeah. It's smaller than the patrol? It's tiny. 
tiny. It's so, like it's sitting on the floor. <laughs> so this is our car for the day. We're going to go check out the um, museum. Museum. The Matt Matt Wad Wad Latter Wad Latter Visitors Center and Cultural Center, which is a very interactive um, center that we're going to go check out with the kids. Check out what the center has to offer. I know, I was teasing Dad. So they've got a tunnel of time. Oh, tunnel of doom, there's no tunnel of doom. Look, we've got award winning tunnel of time. Finally, doing something here in Port Augusta, so we're just sitting around the caravan park, sunning ourselves, and going in the freezing cold pool. And that's what we're going in. And there's the serpent. Yeah. Yo, mask. Yeah. Mm. Alright, better go put my mask on. All right, so we just got our tickets. It was 51.10 for the family. Whoops. Claire's a little bit scared to walk through the big surf and go. No, not me, not me, not me. Come on, come with me. There's the mat for inside. Can I look now? Sure. Yeah. Do we need tokens? All right, so we are through. We didn't need tokens. <laughs> Wasn't that scary, was it, Claire? See, we're through. Now we're in the tunnel of time. We're on a journey into the ancient land. Experience through Aboriginals and European ideas, the origins of the outback. As we know it today. So we'll go through the present, 15,000 years ago, 5 million years ago, and then 15 million years ago. Oh, okay. Oh, go on, Dad. You might have to hold Claire's hand. <laughs> that we're going through forest. All fake. Two views. Aboriginal people developed a profound yeah, spiritual fake. relationship with the land. Stories a time long ago. The dreaming. Mmm. It's gonna be a bit of fun. Super interactive for the kids apparently. So. Big marsupial look now. Drop there. Bush tucker. What's that one, Ruth? Uh, honey ants. Honey ants. That's what Zara and the girls ate. Witchetty grubs. Native peach. Inland pigweed. Desert raisin. Mulga, mulga tree and woolly butt grass. Woolly butt grass. You want to eat some woolly butt? Yeah. You want to eat some woolly butt? Yeah. No. And then the Europeans came. In the very centre of our island continent. He had not, of course, find lush green pastures of England, but instead he encountered the true outback. Part of the museum is actually an old train that's the end of it and it comes in here all the old carriage this is an outback movie we're gonna watch we're just waiting for the people to finish up this is like the old trains Trans-Australian Railway, that's that one that goes across from here. <laughs> Sit on the chairs, they're no. so bouncy. What was they making the, making the railway? Oh, trying to make a train. Again. Yeah, so they made a massive train that went all the way from here over to Perth. It was called the Trans Australian Railway, and again, and the Indian Ocean, Indian Pacific trains go on there. We're in the Outback Theatre. We've <laughs> set it up to look like a little picture theatre. Big. 
front of a truck here. Which the kids can go in and drive. <laughs> Pretty cool. Lee Creek coal field. Just swing around to the right, back in underneath the shovel. Just like doing a three point turn. All right, we've just finished up at the Outpack Centre. It was super cool. It had lots of um, videos um, and theatres and little interactive things for the girls. We learned so much about the South Australian Outback, Unadatta, the olden days, how Australia was formed. It was really cool, yeah? Yeah. Lots, lots of stuff that we'd already learnt on the road, but it's good just to, sort of towards the end of our trip just to recap, recap it mm -hmm. all and um yeah remember what it's all about and yeah and some of the places that we've got like that we went through like more Petey. things about yeah Cooper was in there again being back in South Australia so, so yeah it's, it's definitely I don't know what's the time we, we spent about two hours in there so oh, yeah. it's really informative lots of um videos which is good so you don't have to read everything yeah uh, good yeah you kids. just sit there it's very interactive um yeah recommend very cool it's probably one of the only only touristy, only touristy really things to do in um, Port Augusta. So yeah, that's pretty much the only thing we've done here. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's us done at Port Augusta. We've had four relaxing days here in the sun, um, mostly sun, and just did the one little adventure out. The car is all serviced and ready to go, but we are off to the York Peninsula. So we're gonna go have a look around there um, for a week or so before we head down to Kangaroo Island. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And just a side note, always check how much an ensuite is. It's been the best four days. I've cleaned the bathroom in the van. It's like an extension to our house. So <laughs> I've cleaned the toilet in our van and said, no one use it. And we all use the ensuite. It was absolutely brilliant, worth every $3 a night that extra that was so always check that out hot tip um but yes we are off to the york um but yeah Wyala, port augusta has been fun enjoy the video